We're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hairdresser. Seriously. So it would seem he said we did well, so that that feels good. Uh you could say we lived up to, we lived up to our reputation. <laughs> oh boy. Right, let's see. What do we have left? Um we have to catch the We have to catch the thief. We found the prototype, I think. Uh Crone Trail. I'm still not certain where this is, so... Amelia. That's someone in the town, anyway. I'm gonna need to go to the lighthouse. Okay, we are gonna skip over all of you... looking for Emilia. Nope, not you either. Oh yeah, I need to figure out what's up with the... Uh... I need to try and find a clue for this. So I should actually be listening to people. <laughs> hmm. interesting. It seems odd that something that was originally a coalition between countries would have absolute control uh, with in the hands of a single group. Uh, let's see.
Oh, wait. Do I have a copy? I do not! Ahem! A close-up look at the man behind the plan. The lynchings that halted the nation's aerial transportation and struck fear in our hearts. But thanks to the Royal Army's Intelligence Division Hereafter ID, all that's behind us now, and no hostages were harmed. We're pleased to welcome the ID founder today for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. And we'd like to thank him for taking time from his busy schedule to meet with us. Alan Ricard, founder of ID, born uh, 34 years ago, single war college graduate, rank colonel. That's actually pretty young for a colonel. Congratulations on your success with the Lindell incident. Thanks, but I'm not sure I'm the right person to congratulate. We officers just sit in front of a desk all day. It's the men and women on the field who deserve all the praise here. And we are thankful truly. Tell me, Colonel, what was your role in the Hundred Days War? Easier to say than what my role wasn't. I planned strategies, I fought, I handled communications and intelligence, and I procured goods for the troops, to name just a few of my tasks. And what, sir, were the lessons you learned in the war? What were the lessons you learned in the war? Con and were they contributed to the founding of ID? Actually, no. We now live in an information age, and as Oracle technology advances, life becomes faster paced. If the Royal Army can't keep up, well, then that's it for us. How do you see the Royal Army now, and in what ways do you believe it could be improved? As an officer, I really can't officially answer that. If you're going to ask for my own personal opinion, though, then I'd say we then I'd have to say we need to become a more robust organization. No, no, quite the opposite of arms proliferation. Uh, not an expansion of force, but of quality. We need significant improvements in our organization, our equipment, our command structure. I'm afraid that's all we have time for, but Colonel R Alan Ricard, I sincerely thank you for granting us this wonderful opportunity. Unpretentious, unrestrained, and bold. Colonel Alan Ricard is nothing at all like the elite body image people have, have seem to have of him. And given his accomplishments, it's clear he's not only a brilliant man, but a politically savvy one as well. He truly is the army's rising star, and his time is only just beginning. The Lynchies back in season, and as always, the Genesis Royal Academy is ready to celebrate. Come for the fruit, but stay for the booths the exhibits, and of course, the annual class play. Uh, clear wa lake water, flow, culture, sightseeing, ruin, and air leaven. Over the edge of an aqueduct, forming cascading falls of unmatchable beauty, such as air leaven, a place of natural splendor and boundless wonder. Scholars and archaeologists alike are baffled as to how such a grand medieval aqueduct uh, was built in age before herbal technology. At present, the ruins of Erleden are used as a checkpoint between Ruin and Zeus. But quality uh, accommodations are also available for curious travelers with a taste for the ancient and mysterious. If that's you, then let in the air out of your boring life and get going. Oh, Mercia Orphanage burnt to ashes. Before dawn yesterday, a fire broke out at the Mercia Orphanage. No injuries were reported, but the building has been completely leveled. The Braces Guild is presently investigating. Hmm. Yo, I just got to work on a few things in Gransel. I'm holding out for a seat to, to free up on the airliner. I'm planning to come back to Ruin soon enough, though. Interesting.
interesting. Where are you at, Clive? I thought that last guy who came in was just another applicant, sent here on Clive's recommendation. But when I went to check on him, I got the distinct feeling that it was something a bit more important than a simple meeting. Hmm. Interesting. see you. Hmm? Hey, aren't you going to the... Yes. Okay. Hmm. He's a fisherman. He loves his drink, and he loves to gamble. He especially loves a good az azalea rose, which is a cocktail made of fruit juice. He's missed around this place. I'd love to see him again, but he never comes down for a drink. Hmm. Oh, right. If it's no trouble, would you mind bringing him one? Okay, I guess. Uh, I believe I already have the recipe for that as well. Something salty. Salted anchovies? Hmm. Yeah, Azalea Rose right there. The roulette wheel doesn't spin as freely anymore, and that simply won't do. The most important thing is making sure that the customers enjoy themselves. If you say so. Oh. Aha! I don't know how I would have ever gotten that, except by just clicking around randomly. I guess this is kind of a lighthouse, though? Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Adios see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the endless waltz which unfolds between red and black. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed. Between red and black? Magnolia is a flower, but it's not a red or black flower. Hmm. I'm not sure where that is, but it's a stronger visual clue, so I might... I may have a chance to actually find it. Red and black. Hmm. Yeah, it is terrible. Most of them. Hmm. Something wrong. 
That... never mind. Quartz. I don't have that. And I don't have that. Well, I can afford both, so let's buy them. I think I'm even using cast right now. You have cast on. Uh, yeah, sure enough. And what was the other one? Evade 2. I do not appear to have Evade equipped at all right now. I do have Shield 1, though. I don't actually want to equip scent. <laughs> yeah, let's throw that one on there. Oh, well, we've come back here. Short, 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 short. Well, we're doing them all right now. Let's report the ones we have. No bonus. No penalty either, though, so that's something. And hey, more money. Already went over there. Uh... Wait a second. Stained glass. I think the color's wrong. Okay, there's no... I mean, it's not really red. Hmm. They make a really big deal of the campus festival thing, don't they? I wonder what a school would hold an event like that for. Why? Is what he said. Yeah, definitely can't hurt. work to attend the festival at my son's school. I often forget just how much I work. Poor Letta always gets stuck looking after the home. When you really think about what's important, family always wins out. Ah, oh, that sounds like fun. 